It's 615. Yesterday's high temperatures were record breaking. Once again, another warm day. 63 degrees is what I got up to in Burlington, breaking the old record of 59 degrees set in 1954. Big changes for today. Won't feel anything like it. Already seeing our temperatures fall in the northwestern portion of the area. Messina is down to 21, 22 in Saranac Lake. Still 40 in Burlington and 44 in Lebanon. 38 in St. Jane. That colder air is moving northwest to southeast as the morning and day goes on. You can see that wind blowing near 10 to 15 miles per hour now in the Champlain Valley and above 20 miles per hour in northern New York. We've got gusts that are even stronger and throughout the day there will be the potential that some of those gusts will be between 35 and 45 miles per hour, which is why wind advisories for most of Vermont and into New Hampshire are in effect until 7 o'clock. It expires a little bit sooner in northern New York at 1 o'clock, but it's going to be strong no matter what all day. So keep that in mind. It does come along with the colder air, which has turned yesterday's rain into this morning's snow. Seeing some snow add up in St. Lawrence County, some lighter stuff as you head towards and closer to the Champlain Valley and into Vermont. But again, some light scattered snow showers this morning will be mostly limited to our mountains by about midday and beyond. And in fact, clouds will continue to break up as the day goes on. So some afternoon sunshine still not going to help. We'll still only be in the 20s as the day goes on. So those temperatures are plummeting and the wind is going to make it feel even worse. We'll have wind chills in the single digits by later on this afternoon, including for parts of the Champlain Valley tomorrow morning near and below zero wind chills and then gets worse Friday night into Saturday. We'll have wind chills that could potentially thanks to that cold air and that wind that's going to stick around be near 15 to 20 below zero. So very, very cold ahead of us. Don't let yesterday's high temperatures fool you. And of course, you can see it with some of that snow adding up in some places. There it is tapering off. In fact, tomorrow this afternoon and into tomorrow, nice and dry. Tomorrow, some clouds, maybe a spot snow shower. But other than that, we're really dry into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Don't let the sunshine fool you again. Winter is still here. We're in the single digits in teens for the first half of the weekend. Just a little warm up on Sunday, but finally back to spring again for next week.